Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here from Battlestrats.com, and today we have Red Dead Redemption. I'm going to do several videos, and this one though we're talking about weaponry, we're talking about shooting, we're going to go over dueling, dead eye, lassoing, all kinds of things, everything you need to know about weapons in Red Dead Redemption, or in order for you to be successful. So let's get started. So we're going to start very basic and work our way up. The first thing we're going to look at is when you're in game selecting the weapon of choice. So in order to do that, hold the LB down and it'll uh, pull up a radial dial that you can then use the right stick in order to select which weapon you want to have in your hand. Now if you come across an option that has arrows on each side, you can use the directional pad to scroll through the weapons. These are all the different weapons that you've picked up that are the same type. So for instance, I have a lot of different rifles to choose from. Now if you're pulling up this radial dial and you know you don't have the weapon already on your dial that you wish to have what you can do is press start go down to weapons and here is a menu that actually shows you all types of statistics on your weapons so you can see which guns are best for each category that you have so for rifles you can have the best one selected um, for pistols etc and then once you set this up and you uh, just press back out of this menu after you have the weapons you have you want selected and then you're back in game you pull up your radial those weapons will then be the first choice for you to select so it's, it's a way that you pull up your weapons that you want as quickly as possible the next thing we're going to go over is targeting mode in order to get this go down to start options config and you'll notice that in t under targeting mode you have three different choices you have casual normal and expert expert means that every time you aim down the site you're going to have to manually place your reticle over a person in order to shoot them and kill them normal means that whenever you zoom in sometimes it's already locked onto a target so it makes it a little bit easier a lot less work and then casual makes it a whole lot easier uh, and almost every time uh, you look down the barrel of your gun, you're going to be locked onto an enemy. If you're going to be using the normal or casual targeting mode, and you're going to be taking advantage of the targeting system, you're going to want to get in a habit of zooming in and then taking the shot and then pulling all the way back out and repeating the process. If you stay looking down the sights after you've taken the shot with your targeting mode you're going to have to manually move the reticle to the next enemy in order to take the shot so it's going to make your life a lot easier and you're going to get through enemies a lot quicker uh, because every time you zoom in and you're looking in the direction of a target it's going to auto lock on to them get in the habit of zooming in and then taking the shot and then zooming back out another thing though when using the targeting system is that it tends to auto aim for the chest so that means if somebody's hiding behind a crate or they're taking cover behind anything you're looking at their chest so if they poke their head out or if you're just shooting in general at them you want to get in the habit of raising the aim up just a little bit before you take that shot that's going to give you a lot more opportunities to get headshots which means one shot kills because it usually takes two shots to the body depending on the gun in order to put down an enemy so when using the casual or normal targeting system zoom in pull up take the shot zoom out rinse and repeat next on the item is red eye red eye is what brings the matrix to the wild west it slows down time and allows you to take out multiple enemies now the red eye is measured by a meter which is on the right side of your map that's that red bar that's on the right there and as you use this uh, slowing down of time effect that will drain in order to refill it it refills slowly over time and it also refills as you kill more people you can also purchase items in the general store which will give you more red eye now red eye is pretty easy to use all you have to do is pull the left trigger in order to aim then push down on the right joystick so push it in and it will bring up the red eye mode which you can then uh, select your targets by pressing RB 
RB is to mark them. Now, if you mark an enemy that's close to you, try to shoot him in the head. After you've marked all the enemies that is in your vision and range, pull the right trigger in order to make him start firing. And it's if you've played Splinter Cell, it's just like the mark and execute. He'll automatically take out all the targets that you've marked. Uh, be aware, though, that you can't mark enemies in front of you and then turn around behind you and then mark some more enemies. Uh, they all have to be pretty uh, close to the general direction that you're looking, so you can't shoot in the front and in the back. So it is limited as far as that goes. Deadeye is really good to use if you're on missions where you're having to drive a stagecoach and try to fight at the same time. So if you have a lot of enemies coming up from behind you, you can turn that on. It slows down everything, so more than likely your horse won't ride off track. Uh, another thing to do if you don't have any red eye and you're on the carriage and you're having trouble with those missions, wait till the um, enemy is up to your side or in front of you. And then if you have normal or casual mode on, you can zoom in really quickly, take that shot, and get back to driving. Next item on the list is dueling. Now what happens is sometimes you'll run into dueling during missions, but a lot of times you'll just be in town minding your own business, you know, talking up to the ladies, working on your game. All of a sudden some dude walks up, wants to challenge you to a duel because he thinks he has something to prove. So you're going to go into a duel mode then if you accept that. And what happens is the camera starts back and then it slowly zooms forward. Now you can pull out your gun at any time by um, just like regularly uh, pressing the uh, left trigger uh, to pull up your gun then it will bring up a marker then you can then place points on the body where you want to shoot just like Deadeye you press RB in order to mark the body I highly suggest that you don't pull out the gun as soon as you can wait till the camera zooms in because it's going to give you a lot better aim to work with and it's going to be a lot more accurate so if you wait and are patient, you're going to have a better shot at winning the duel. Once that's available, you know, it flashes red and white X's. So what you want to do is hit whenever it flashes a white X. That means you're locked on really well. So wait for the white X and then place your marker wherever it is that you want to place your shots. The person with the better shots wins the duel. Now, you can shoot out the weapon of the person's hand if you're a really good shot and it gives you a lot more fame and honor if you do that by simply disarming the person without having to actually kill him. The last item we'll talk about is the lasso. If you don't have the lasso yet you do uh, get it by doing jobs for Bonnie so go help her out go where B is on your map she'll give you a lasso she'll show you how to use it on horses uh, whenever you pull out the lasso, you do it just like with any of your other weapons. Hold the left trigger to pull it out, right trigger to throw it and to wrap it around your horse or a person, whatever. Uh, then you need to keep the left trigger held down while you walk over to the horse or the person. Uh, if you're on a horse, you're going to have to get off the horse and walk over to them. And then it'll give you an option to either jump on the horse or either hogtie a person if that's what you have lassoed. During the course of the game, you'll be doing a lot of missions that involve bringing back people alive, and in order to do that, that's what you have to use is the lasso. So you're going to be using the lasso a lot during the course of the game. Another uh, way to use it efficiently is by doing bounty hunts. Uh, now, if you do a bounty hunt, it's a great way to make money fast and easy. You have two choices. You can bring back the person dead, or you can bring them back alive. If you bring them back alive, you get a lot more money. So a lot of times, it's hard to capture... Uh, people if they're running away from you at full speed so a good technique to do is to shoot them in the leg to slow them down this makes it a lot easier to be able to catch up to them to be able to lasso them and bring them back in for that money and bounty so that wraps up this video for weaponry for Red Dead Redemption I really appreciate you watching all the way through and I hope you learned something, enjoyed it. Be sure you comment, rate, subscribe so you don't miss the next video that we're going to do. It's going to be talking about traveling. You're doing a lot of travel in Red Dead Redemption, so you don't want to miss that. Uh, be sure to leave us a message uh, if you have something that you'd like to see covered in our guide for Red Dead Redemption. And we'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions. Also, be sure that you check out Battlestrats.com. 
uh, head on over to the forums, sign up, register, all kinds of things going on over there, and plenty of people to form posses with. Thanks for watching.